everyone. Welcome back to chapter three, understanding the writing process, an introduction to essay writing. So here we go. Why should we care about this? Well, because writing is a crucial life skill, not just for use in school, but in professional contexts as well. Um, you're going to be writing college essays and exams um, in the workplace. You're going to be writing work-related documents. It could be short emails. It could be whole reports. You can also engage in community engagement, such as letters to the editor um, or letters to the school board. It just kind of depends on what you're doing. And then personal communication. Um, you could be writing emails to colleagues or friends. You could be sending out posts via social media. And having effective writing will lead to ensuring that your point is getting across the way that you intend. So let's talk about the structure of an essay. It is a group of paragraphs on a single subject. And the typical structure includes an introduction with a super important thesis statement, body paragraphs, which all support that thesis statement, and then a conclusion, which kind of ties it up in a nice pretty bow. So each of the body paragraphs should focus on one main idea that was listed out in the thesis statement. Transitions will connect them. You don't just kind of plop paragraph one and then plop paragraph two down. You want to say something like further or also um, to just make sure that the reader understands you are connecting the ideas. So the way to go about writing an essay is planning, planning it out like writing an outline, um, which helps you to organize your ideas. Then you have to write a rough draft of the essay. You're going to test the essay to make sure you have all of those components in test. Then, based on feedback, you will revise um, and use editing and proofreading as you are revising. So, let's say you get a topic. Um, make sure that if it's a topic that is given to you, that you absolutely understand all the parts of the topic and you answer all the parts. If it's like two different questions, don't make sure or don't make sure you don't answer just like the first question and ignore the second question because that's half of your essay right there. If you have um, leeway in what you write about, which you will in this class, choose something that is interesting to you. Um, that you know that you could write an essay about and that you know you can find information about. So some more brainstorming techniques um, here just to, if you need ideas on how to find something to write about. And then also where you could find more information. We do have databases available through um, the Lone Star Library website if you wanna look at that. Uh, but there's also resources online. Just be very careful that you use resources that are non-biased, that they are dependable. And if you have questions about that, let me know. Okay, so let's talk about the thesis statement because this is what is, it's like the beating heart of your essay. It's going to drive every single thing in your essay. Um, so it's one sentence. And the characteristics of a strong one are that it's debatable. Somebody could say, well, no, I disagree with you. It's focused and it's supportable with evidence, okay? So I gave you an example here. Reducing plastic waste in schools can significantly impact environmental conservation, create opportunities for student engagement, and save money for the schools. So the first thing is somebody could debate that and say, no, that's not true. Like it would not impact the environment whatsoever or students won't care or what have you. It's focused because it's all on reducing plastic waste in school. And then it's supportable with evidence because I can look up statistics about schools that have reduced plastic waste and how it helped them. Um, I can look up and see, oh, was, was it led by a student council, student clubs that kind of led the charge in this? And then also how it was fiscally responsible to use um, less plastic waste. Okay. 
Then you're going to select three to five main points that support your thesis. I really, for this particular essay and class, want you to focus on just three so that there's not too much going on. And as you can see, going back here, there's three uh, main points. The main points are that it can impact environmental con conservation, create opportunities for student engagement, and save money for the school. So each one of these is a body paragraph. Okay, so one paragraph is going to talk about how it impacts the environment. The next paragraph is going to talk about student engagement. And the last body paragraph will talk about how it saves money. Okay. And then obviously organize it in a logical order. Um, and that will really honestly depend on your topic and your context and all of that good stuff. Okay. So the first thing you're going to need to do is create an outline. The basic outline structure is this. It's going to be your introduction with that thesis. It's going to be your first supporting point of that thesis, your second for body paragraph two, and your third for body paragraph three. The conclusion is just kind of summarizing what you've written so far. And then also when you're making your paragraph, throw in as much information as you possibly can that you already know about your supporting points. Okay, so also make sure that you are using the test strategy. Is the thesis clear and able to be supportive? Is the evidence I use in my body paragraph, is it relevant? Does it make sense? Is it effective? Is my structure logical? Like, am I going from uh, something that happened first to something that happened next to something that happened last or however you need to arrange it? And then my transitions. When I read the essay, does it kind of flow from one paragraph to another or does it just kind of plop it in there? Right? We want to make sure we're flowing, not plopping. All right. <clears throat> so editing when you edit, and we'll get more into this obviously later on, um, you want to focus on making sure that you are varying your sentence structure, that you're not just using like short, simple sentences the whole time, because nobody wants to read that. Like, I like, like, um, they reduced plastic waste. They reduced plastic waste by buying different cups. The different cups they bought were blah, blah, blah. So you see like that's boring, right? We want like to mix it up and have some long sentences in there. And then shorter sentences can be used to kind of emphasize and make some impact. Um, but at the same time, you don't want to be too wordy. Um, always proofread if you're using Google Docs, which I highly recommend. They have a built-in spell check and grammar check as well. Now, one of the biggest pieces of advice I can give you is to read out loud whatever you have written because that way you will catch uh, continuity errors like this doesn't make sense why is this here and also grammar errors because you're like that just doesn't sound right something's off um, and then you might also catch punctuation errors too even better is you can have someone else read the essay to you and then you're like whoa I really need to fix paragraph two because that's not sounding how I wanted it to sound. All right, so that's it for chapter three and I'll see you soon.